Alright, so it's been a while since I've talked about some conservative or anti-woke brain rot, and I figured I'd go back to doing that since, well, I stumbled upon this video by Ben Shapiro. Now, I'm sure most people watching this video already know who Ben Shapiro is. He's a pretty big political commentator, and also, you know, has a very successful rap career. Now, some of you may be wondering what's so special about this video in particular, and the reason this video is special is because this has to be the laziest, most borderline content theft video that I have seen in a while, but that's just scratching the surface with this video. Now, the title says Ben reacts to insane woke TikToks. However, most of the TikToks in this video aren't even woke, and you're going to see that as we take a look at this video. But that's not all. He also, at one point in the video, basically says tattoos are woke, which is very ironic considering his buddy Tom McDonald has a ton of them on his face. Now, before we do get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 3K subs. And also check out the sponsor, Dubby Energy, link in the description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm not a very demanding parent. We have rules and expectations but I try to be understanding. My oldest daughter loves video games. She knows if she wants to play, her room has to be clean. Some days she'll want to play, but she doesn't want to clean. I'm not going to argue with her or force her to do it, but she knows the expectation. My kids have responsibilities, but they also have freedom. If my daughter's on her game and I tell her it's bedtime, and she says that she just needs to finish something up quick, I'm going to let her finish. I'm going to let you finish. I trust her to finish up and go to bed. I never understood the thought process between I said it, so you need to do it right now. I can't think of anything I'd urgently need an eight-year-old for. And I do think this helps to teach kids independence and responsibility. I don't think my kids need to be blindly obedient. Day is never finished. Master got me working. Someday master set me free. So before I demand something of my kids, do I really need this from them or is it a power move? I want to work with my kids, not be their ruler. I always lead with love. I mean, I feel like they might need some authority figure since you are clearly not one. Alright, so as you guys saw, that was all the commentary he gave on that first TikTok. As you guys can see, just cut to the next one. That's basically what he's doing in this video, is a lot of these reactions, in quotation marks, are going to be like one-liners, and then a meme that goes on for almost as long as the commentary, and then they're gonna cut to the next video. Now, as for the video, I don't really see how it's woke. I just see a parent that is letting their kids have some independence and some freedom, which I think is fine. I think it is good to teach your kids some independence. I mean, obviously, there's gonna be things you have to help them with. Now, obviously, you can't just let them run around doing whatever they want. You do kind of have to have some authority over them just for the sake of, you know, keeping them safe. But other than that, I don't really see how this TikTok is woke. There was nothing political mentioned. What, are they woke because their hair is purple? I swear, this is like some terminally online Redditor behavior. <laughs> That's what? So first of all, I don't know what that lady's wearing. It's, it's effed up. Second of all, I didn't realize that women feel that way about the incredibly moving tradition of your family ushering you down the aisle so that you can join a new family unit, which is what that tradition is about. I don't know very many women who are offended by, by this particular tradition, unless they are deeply unhappy people. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was also a little bit confused when I saw that video, but a good friend of the channel, Anushi, came to chime in and basically shed some light on why some women feel this way. Like, the take itself, I think, like, this is the... The take is kind of strange, but... The take, yeah, the take is strange because, I don't know, personally, I don't really view, view it as that. I've, I kind of see it as, like... Yeah, me either. That, that's the only video where I think Ben Shapiro might actually have a good take uh i certainly don't anushi uh at rinse aka man can i drop some history on this i know about the topic sure let me invite you uh move to uh yeah oh yeah thank you domino hi uh hello okay thank you for what huh? uh did you bring so one? oh wait anushi's an admin they can just come on the stage by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i for fuck forgot i was like wait did i promote domino to a mod already uh no. <laughs> okay, so the whole thing about this, so, so marriage wasn't originally like an, an actual thing, like it didn't exist. So marriage became a thing when uh, women were still property. And the whole thing was, uh, you know, the, the husband, he would come and offer a gift. And if the father accepted the gift, then he would give the daughter in exchange. And that ceremony was the giving oh. of the daughter, not oh. seeing her as a human. Oh. So. So it's a very impactful. Oh. Yeah. So as a tra tradition, you know, it's seen a little bit differently today, but the origin is still very difficult for a lot of women. It feels like they're just being seen as a property. 
Yeah, okay, now that makes more sense. But yeah, shouts to Anushi for telling me that because I never knew. And you know, knowing that, that kind of helps understand the video more. And looking at it now, the video makes a little bit more sense. But still, I don't really see how this video is woke. Because remember, this is a woke TikTok reaction video. And these are supposed to be woke TikToks. I'm not really seeing how this video is woke. Hey, I want to talk to y'all about something confusing. I want to talk about those nails. Those are confusing. Jerry Seinfeld talking about how he misses real men. I miss uh, a dominant masculinity. He literally is going on a rant saying like, where are all the real men at? You know, and that Winnie the Pooh had <laughs> voice. <laughs> and I guess I'm just like a little confused because this is the same guy who voiced a bee that <laughs> woman, right? <laughs> No, yeah, I just like, I just like wanted to be clear. That's who we were talking about. And like, he's a Zionist, so mm. regardless. I just can't wrap my brain around the fact that his cadence is the same as lemon grabs. And he's like in the same breath being really misogynistic and homophobic. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's the crazy laugh that really makes it. I know that laugh. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? There's a there's something that people have been calling in the online world the Omni cause. The Omni cause is the idea of queers for Palestine. That if you believe all the left wing things, you also have to hate Zionists, which is code for Jews. And this person is an excellent example of that. You have to hate all the things at once. Otherwise, you're not part of the Omni cause. All right. So this might be the only TikTok on the list that actually might be considered woke. We got a few things to address here because, you know, there's a lot to unpack here. So first off, let's just go ahead and start off with the most noticeable thing. And that is the whole job of the hut edit that they kept doing like, what, three, four times. They just absolutely ran the joke into the ground. Look, guys, I'm no comedy connoisseur, but like after four times of using the joke, at least I think it was four times. The joke starts to become a little bit unfunny. Not that I ever found it funny in the first place. I mean, you know, who body shaming? Whoa, so edgy, so funny. You know, uh, peak Daily Wire humor, am I right? But like, I know some people find the edit offensive. I personally am not going to lose sleep over it, but it kind of just says more about the Daily Wire than the person they're making fun of, if anything. And then Ben Shapiro just completely ignores the main point of the video and then harps on the little thing that she said at the end. And then he goes on a completely different rant that had nothing to do with the main point of the video so now i'm just a bit lost and confused i don't even really know what to say because i don't really know what he's talking about and i can't really comment on something i don't know anything about what i will say is i think it would have been more interesting to see him address the main point of the video which was basically the girl calling jerry seinfeld you know homophobic and misogynistic you know i think that would have made for a better reaction but hey that's just me though i'm a gen z in corporate of course i'm not going to that meeting that's during my lunchtime. sorry Take it off the schedule. I'm a Gen Z in corporate. Of course, the screen is hitting the keyboard at five o'clock on a dot. Maybe even 4.30. Sorry. I'm a Gen Z in corporate. What do you mean? What is a mental health day? Figure it out because I'm taking one a month. Sorry. Is this person a parody or is that is that person real? I am for real. Unfortunately, the fact that I even have to ask whether it's a parody or real says pretty much everything. In fact, what they're actually doing is they're artificially increasing the price of labor and decreasing their own productivity to the extent that it's actually making AI significantly more attractive for employers to adopt. Because you'd rather have a computer that doesn't mouth off to you and expect pay, and you'll expend additional resources up front in order to make that happen rather than dealing with these people. What do you mean, you people? You know, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and now is the perfect time to talk about it. I have been seeing for a while boomers complaining that Gen Z is very hard to work with, and, you know, Gen Z is, you know, such a sensitive generation, and they suck, and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, Gen Z isn't hard to work with. They just know what they get paid to do. They know exactly when they have to clock in and when they have to clock out. And boomers hate that because they know they have to play the game fairly. For Ben Shapiro to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, if you don't work an extra 30 minutes, or an hour that's not paid for, then you deserve to have your job replaced by AI. Because that's essentially what he's trying to say here. Talking about some, oh, Gen Z workers know their rights and it makes AI look a lot more appealing because, you know, the AI doesn't mouth off to you. I mean, you can't be serious. Anytime it's time to teach about the LGBTQ plus community in school, there is pushback from the students. And right, because why are you teaching about that in school? They cite culture. They will cite any reason under the sun to justify them leaving the classroom. On one particular occasion, I was called to a specific class who had essentially rebelled and said, we're not learning about this today. I said, okay, cool. I'm good for the who class. Who knows what an abortion is? Not everyone knew. I said, an abortion is a termination of a pregnancy. Put your hands up if you agree with abortion. A few students put their hands up. I said, put your hand up if you disagree with abortion. A few students put their hands up. And I said, that's it. 
I haven't told you need to be in support of it and to go marching on the streets. I haven't told you that you should be against it. I have taught you this piece of information so you will not be ignorant. I mean, honest to God, I don't understand why it, that, that's, she's not educating them about anything. She, she literally didn't even teach them about abortion in any serious way. <laughs> That'll teach you to teach me. They will cite any reason. The notion that there's value neutrality in education is a lie. There's no value neutrality in education. That is the reality that people need to get through their skulls. It's either going to be traditional virtue or it's going to be left-wing secularism. There really isn't a lot of in-between. Okay, I am sorry, but how is this TikTok woke in any way, shape, or form? This is like the most neutral TikTok ever. They never claim to be in support of the LGBTQ. They never claim to be in support of abortions. All they said was that they were informing students so they would not be ignorant. You know, like how a teacher is supposed to do, inform students about things so they are not ignorant, so they are not stupid. How is that woke? Didn't know not having any biases as a teacher was woke. So how have the vibes been lately? Low key, off, go off, King. I just feel like life's been mad cringe lately. Like instead of taking W's, I'm taking L's. And how's your Riz? Mid, no cap, on God. Hmm. It's giving depression. Dead ass, dead ass. Facts. That's facts. He did it. He said it. <laughs> No printer. Period. <laughs> they speak a different language than we, the humans. Guys, guys, get it? Gen Z slang? Funny. Ha 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 ha. Also, this has to be like the least woke video by far. It's literally just making fun of Gen Z slang. How is that woke? Least intimidating war chariot of all time happening right there. Imagine this riding at you across the plains of Greece. What are you then, I ask you? What? Mentally ill. Back, Jim, back. Two years ago at school. Wow, Ben, that was some amazing commentary. You know, if it wasn't for the editor putting in so many memes, I doubt this video would fall under fair use. You know, I feel the further we get into the video, I feel the less commentary Ben is giving. Two years ago at school, I drew something on the ground with chalk thinking it was washable. But in reality, it was permanent. Great. I drew my fursona on the ground. Your fursona, because persona, but fursona. <laughs> wow. Wow. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. That person is going to be a success in life, I think. And if that person walks into an interview for a job, you don't immediately give the fursona a job. That means that you are a bigot. <laughs> Madam Sir or G? Ah uh, yes, Ben, you can determine their success based off of what they're wearing in a TikTok video. Also, I'm pretty sure you already have to be successful as is to even afford one of those fursuits. I've heard that they can get up into the thousands in terms of pricing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're successful already if they're able to run around in a fursuit. Don't call me cute. I'm not cute. I'm a menace to society. Oh. You should never be within 30 yards of a kid. I'm a menace. All right, I'm gonna need all of y'all's opinions in the comments because I don't really know how to feel about this one because part of me is like, yeah, that is a kind of weird video. And then another part of me is like, but is that enough to be like, oh yeah, they shouldn't be allowed within 30 yards of a kid. They're a predator. Like, I'm not really sure how to feel about this one. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And let's take a look at this final video that Ben is going to, in quotation marks, react to. Y'all, everybody keeps asking who that is in my um, pictures and stuff. Oh man, this one is so sad. It's like, I'll post this picture sometimes. Y'all, this is me in 2021. So, two years ago. That was me. <laughs> Don't do that again. Wokeness destroys lives. Wow. That's, that's terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't give me the, the split snake tongue. That's, oh, my God. These people went and got surgeries. To, uh, okay. 
Her parents must be so proud. You know, I find it funny that Ben Shapiro is friends with Tom McDonald, who, keep in mind, looked like this during one of his more recent music videos. Would him looking like this also make him woke? Because he looks pretty similar to the girl you're calling woke. Seems a little hypocritical. Just saying. Anyways, that's about where the video ends. So yeah, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like for the algorithm, and also subscribe to the channel, because we're almost at 3k. Also, make sure to check out Debbie Energy, link in description. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.